Hello everyone, I am Andrew Truskoski, this is Melting Brain Studios, and you are seeing the first big improvement video of Mushroom Kid. So, originally I showed off just a little snippet of what I was working on, nothing was too finalized, um, and nothing now is finalized either, but I've got a lot more implemented into the game that I'd like to share off. I took some user comments because you guys seem to be very positive about this, which was really heartwarming to me. Um, so anything that I mentioned that one of you guys mentioned, I'll put the username on the screen. Uh, for instance, somebody suggested that I put the score up on the top instead of the bottom. I kept it on the bottom because I didn't want it to be sort of distracting, but I see the point why it should move and I like this better. So their name is on screen now. Someone suggested that I gave Mushroom Kid a moving sprite so that way he's not just stagnant. And I completely agree with that. I just didn't have anything ready yet. So now I do. And I will put your name on the screen there. Let's see what we got. I implemented a lot of new features. So first of all, that is the moving sprite. And now there is walls that he can bounce on. That was my biggest achievement in this entire adventure so far. And I got little burb platforms, some spikes, and yeah. That's what the game is looking like now. Ow, my spleen! Just like always. Do mushrooms even have spleens? Probably not, but that doesn't matter. So much to see here. And these guys, I really love them. Um, they were giving me so much... Here, let me turn off the grid here. They were giving me a lot of trouble. Um, because I'm not great with hitboxes, which you would see if the, uh, the spikes were down just like a few more pixels. But... The burb enemy was kind of being frustrating because I wanted him to only kill me a certain way. And long story short, it was just getting frustrating to program. So I just put a platform on him and then said if I touch the burb, I die. And if I touch the platform, I can use it like a platform. So they are just like little winged friends to help you. I mean, how could you even want to kill this adorable little thing? I like him just the way he is. He's so cute. And uh, these are just the basic enemies that I have here. I wanted to show you guys some more graphics that I intend to put into the game. So I will transition to that now. Okay, you guys, these little guys here, I'm hoping to implement them into the game. To be completely honest with you, mushrooms in video games are what prevented my last project from getting finished. Uh, my last project, I mean my first project, it was something that I did well over a year ago, probably multiple years ago, and it never got finished. And these mushrooms, uh, uh, the point was to be able to jump off of them. Why don't I just show you? So after what feels like actual millenniums, my computer decided to finally let me show you guys this. This is Charlie's game, or Charlie's Quest, I was never quite sure. And that little butthead right there is what ruined my confidence. Uh, I did program a couple of things here, like gems, unlockable doors, those portals that take you to other uh, levels, but this, because he's supposed to just let you bounce, but then whenever you get off of him, you keep bouncing that height and it never resets back to your normal height. I mean, maybe with the right help I could fix it now, but back then that, that just sucked. Ah! So that was a project that never really went anywhere. I just thought it was kind of funny that mushrooms are essentially what ruined my confidence working on that project way back when, and now I'm making a game all about mushrooms now that I'm older and wiser and less likely to give up on something. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little update. The next video will be Pokemon Showdown, because um, I'm going to be uploading a few Let's Plays in between these videos uh, with game dev logs and whatnot. Um, so, I hope you guys will enjoy that. I have a more calm demeanor when I play video games. So, I hope that at least some of you can get some enjoyment out of that. Look at this! It's like an actual game! Oh yeah, and if you keep clicking, it's gonna make the propeller throw you down. You want to get to the topmost part of the propeller, and then once you're in there, if you click a few times, it'll actually slow your fall. See? That was something I was really happy to have. Boom, boom, and boom. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one. 
Have a great day. Take care of each other. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe and do all that stuff. I love hearing you guys' comments, especially ones that give me ideas for the game or ones that warrant a reply because I just love the conversation. Uh, I don't get out very much due to my health. So, being able to talk with people on the internet, it's wonderful for me. Take care, guys. Bye.